I think it'd be cool if it were like students up there playing the bells. Like I thought it was some sort of like old guy up there with like, a hunchback who pulls the bells every half hour. He feeds on nothing but rats. <laughs> to get some answers about the history of our tower, I went to the Canada Center to see a very knowledgeable lady, Miss Barbara Floyd. She knows everything. There were no chimes. It was just a tower with a clock on it. There was nothing to tell students what time it was by bells or chimes or anything like that. That changed 10 years later when Mrs. Grace Snyder, yep, the same one from Snyder Memorial, donated money to the university to purchase the first set of bells. And somebody would play them uh, on the hour and the half hour. So it was actually um, a real caroline, a real bell caroline. So you're probably wondering what this word I keep saying is. Who's caroline? The word I'm saying is caroline. A real caroline is a musical instrument that consists of a series of big bronze bells on a rack. And each bell is connected to a key on a special keyboard. And when the key is hit, it makes the metal clapper inside the bell move and sh to strike the bell. Just like playing a piano, the player of the carillon, or caroloner, can modify the intensity of the sound by hitting a key harder or lighter. Now that's what we used to have in our tower from 1941 until about the mid-80s. Nowadays, we don't have any bells at all. Nope. Contrary to popular belief, there isn't some little old man that lives in our tower that runs around playing bells for us all the time. I know. What we have in our tower here at UT is still a carillon, but it's an electronic one. And it's Way before that time, there used to be bell ringers who would actually pull on long ropes to play bells. But since the invention of the carillon, there's not really a need for bell ringers anymore. And a lot of bell towers now use an electronic carillon system that plays bell music, but over a loudspeaker. And that's what we have. Unfortunately, Mark Walker is a busy guy and I couldn't get an interview with him, but I was still able to get into the Carillon control room with help from facilities manager Tim Kreft, and I was able to take some cool pictures. I'm excited! We're going up! Of course I wanted to see what the tower looked like myself, so my friend Mackenzie and I climbed up the tower, the little tiny staircase, and we got to see firsthand what the inside of the tower really looks like. These are the speakers that broadcast the bell tower music. If you're down on the ground and you look up very closely, you can still see them from down on the ground. But here's what they look like from the inside of the tower. It's a lovely view from up here. That's the field house. And again, lovely spring day to be in the tower. 